Welcome to a daily moment of peace. The question we're asking today is how will Jesus return? In Mark 13, 24 through 27, the Bible says, but in those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will fall and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. They will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send his angels and gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven. Oh, Father God, we praise you today. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the, um, the return of Jesus. Oof. What you have prepared, Lord, your word says from the foundation of the earth. Mm. Lord, that you have appointed a time and you have prepared a way. And Lord, when we look up, we know that our redemption draws near. Mm -hmm. Lord, we know that you are going to return. like you said you went up as the angels told the disciples as they watched you go up and down and you, you said he's going to return the same way hmm. wow so father god i praise you and i thank you that we look forward lord that we don't get stuck on the here and now on the things that are happening around us father on the the, the shifts in the marketplace, Father, the, the <laughs> struggles around the world, the wars, the rumors of wars, Father, the issues we have in our lives, but we look up. Yes. We send our eyes towards the heavens from, from whence comes our help. Yes. Father, so, Father yes. God, we thank you and praise you that you have established that there will be a day when we will be going about our business, when we will hear the trumpet of God. Mm. Lord, the voice of the archangel shouts, and we will be caught up to meet with the Lord in the air. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I long for that day, my brothers and sisters, mm long for that day we yes. pray and we ask that until yes. that day comes father you would give us power to stand strong yes lord that you would give us the ability to stand and testify of your love and your goodness and your mercy in the midst of persecution Emmanuel. father we know that these things will happen that men will turn against one another mm -hmm. that we will be greatly offended you say in the verses that go before this mm. many will be offended and the love of many will grow cold. Mm. help us not to be cold help yes. us not to be easily offended mm. father pour out in us a great expectation an expectation of your coming that we are going to wake up today and tomorrow and if you tarry the day after that and our eyes are going to look up because our redemption is drawing near it's nearer today than it was yesterday yes. lord and it will be nearer tomorrow than it was today give yes. us that joyful hope the expectation yes. of your coming father yes. help us live this life as though you're going to be here tomorrow maybe even today. Yes, Father. And that everything that we, Father, are struggling with today, everything that we are wrapped around, Father, that it will be undone and we will be caught up with each other and we will meet with you in the air and together forever, Lord, we will be with you. We look forward to that day. And we pray, Maranatha. Yes, come Maranatha. quickly, Lord Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. Amen, Maranatha, Maranatha. Woo, can't say that enough. Jesus, come. Hallelujah. Yes, right. thank come. you, God, Lord for bringing Jesus. us here. Thank you, God, for bringing us here. Thank you, Dion, for bringing that together. 
the picturing and the imagining of Jesus' return, the stars and the sun and the, oh, the clouds. And, oh. Oh. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you for being with us. Please share these moments of peace that Dion and the National Day of Prayer team and everyone is bringing together. Thank you so much. God bless you. And if you bring the full gospel of Jesus Christ, Godspeed.